Hi Bison, thank you for joining us here on Celtic TV. Now you've had a busy couple of weeks on international duty and only came up to Celtic in the summer. How have the first few months um, with the new team and playing in the London League been for you? It's been hard settling in but um, I think I've settled in quite quickly with the, with the boys helping me out and um, showing me about and obviously performing well on the pitch as well so it's, it's been a good couple of months to be fair. And you've captained the B team on several occasions and also captained Ireland under 19s over the October international break. What's it like having that sort of responsibility? I don't really look into it, I just kind of just take it on board and just keep playing my, my, my game and just helping the boys out that need help now and I just let the rest take, take care of itself. So it's been good, yeah. And how was being away with the under 19s? Um, well, yeah, it was a good couple of weeks with the boys. Um, obviously, the boys done well, came came away with 2 2 draw. I learnt a lot, but um, to be fair, I learnt a lot to be fair about myself, about the team, and um, it was also an honour captaining the boys as well. And tell us a little bit more about your life before coming to Scotland and, and your time at Watford. I mean, last season you were awarded Academy Player of the Season. Um, yeah, so I moved from Dublin to Watford on like a two year scholar, and then kind of just hit the ground running from there, and things just been going well for me ever since. And um, obviously, when I came Player of the Year, um, it was, a big, it was a big achievement and um, now I'm just looking on to bigger things now. And what's the biggest change you've noticed from going to Dublin to Watford then up to Scotland? Um, I say with the weather's a key factor in it, um, from Dublin to England to Scotland to coast of Scotland. <laughs> Nobody warned me about it but um, nah, it's, a good, it's been a good couple of years for me um, personally but I'm enjoying it. And what's your biggest strength on the pitch? I'll say my technical ability, running with the ball, um, my passing range, um, obviously being a leader as well on the pitch, um, leading by example and just, just helping the boys out really. And um, what are you wanting to prove whilst you're playing up here? I'm sure a first team call up as well in your sights. Um, yeah, that's my main achievement to be fair, just um, keep doing what I'm doing and then when the first team comes me I'll be ready and just take my chances when it comes and just hopefully break through. Who have you gelled most with in the B team so far? Um, I would say Myself, Toby and Ben Wiley have gotten well with each other and obviously now we live together so we kind of know the ins and outs of each other so yeah. I've, I'm, but I got on well, really well with other lads and um, they are nice lads and made me settle in quickly. Um, and what's the team like as a whole, you know, there must be some characters in there. Oh, there's a lot of funny characters. Um, we've got Toby who's always just always, always messing, Ben who's the hothead, um, we've got Moffat who's just the joker. But um, yeah, there's a lot of characters in the team but yeah, it's all good, it's enjoyable. Nice lads. And how is it playing and being coached under the likes of Tommy McIntyre and Darren O'Day? Um, yeah, top co top managers, top coaches. Um, they've taught me a lot since I've came here. Um, they showed me things I need to improve on, things I'm good at, and things that um, I can work on, obviously. But yeah, it's been good with them. Looking ahead to the next two matches the B team have, playing Commonwealth Colts away on the Monday and then again at home on the Sunday, how is the team looking ahead of the double header? We're not really looking into too much into them, we're just going to do what we usually do, just play football, um, obviously perform and let the result take care of itself. And we know the B team is there for development of players and being in this lone league, but we can see that you're a competitive group, so winning matches must still be of high importance yeah, to you. Yeah, obviously that's a, that's, a, that's a big factor that we look into um, winning games, but um, can't really like judge how the, the result um, come out, so we just play what, do what we can do and um, play our best and just let the result take care of itself. Really.